Okay, so I have to download that app preview for developers, right? Yep. Okay, so and then sign into that. That's right. Okay, so let's do that. So this is just a simple app. It's got a little wizard on it. Um, you kind of step through it. I think the begin yeah, the beginning just says uh, explains what you're doing. It's this preview, and you enable it. You can run the app later and disable it, and that will just disable future updates. It won't you know revert your phone. Um, you sign in. And then you click done, and you're done. And then uh, let me know when you're done. Okay. If I could, if I could type in my password, that would be a huge <laughs> help. Okay. So it says enable preview. Done. Success. Done. Okay. Okay. So now what you need to do is go to the settings interface, which is like that gears icon on the home screen, unless you can't. Unless I feel like can't. this is a whole new world. Like I feel <laughs> like this is Windows 95 all over again, and I'm discovering system files. Sure. And what they sure. each do. So, I mean, from here out, the process of uh, finding and installing the update is just like it would be normally as if this thing had really been released to the public. Okay, I got to go to about uh, or phone? No, phone update, right? No, phone update. Okay. It's not, not Android. Bottom. That's how Android is. You got to go to about and then <laughs> yeah, phone update. Yep, yep. Okay, check, check for, for updates, update. obviously. The funny thing is from here, it's going to happen automatically, at least the downloading part. So it's going to check for updates. This will take a little while. And then it will come back and it will say downloading updates and then preparing updates and then... Then you'll have to OK it. You'll, you can either uh, do it immediately or postpone it. You'll choose now or whatever the yeah, choice says. I mean, we'll do it throughout the show. Yeah. I think it'll be cool. Yep. And maybe the viewers can do it. We'll reboot it. a few times. You'll see gears on the screen. And this is available for the 520, the 620. Everything, ev everything. everything that runs Windows 8, okay. Windows Phone 8 with GDR2. Have, have there been any reports on the older ones and what the performance would be on some of the older Windows Phone 8 phones? No, but the phone that you're using right now represents the lowest end okay. phone that there is. Oh, okay. So even like so a 620, tough. which came out earlier, is a little actually it's slightly better specs. Uh, a 520, I'm sorry, uh, an 820, which I bought on uh, AT&T, I don't know, six months ago, eight yeah. months ago, whatever that was. Much better specs than a 520. Um, I've done this on an HTC 8X. I've done it on all my Nokias. Um, it works. It works fine. So by the way, uh, it's still saying updating. Uh, checking for update. I don't know if that's normal that it, yeah, takes, it takes that long. Well. Okay, so I'll, I'll set this down and then we'll get back. Trust me, to if there was no update, it would come back damn quick. So you, like on, on my phone, now the one I, for, I thought I'd done all my phones, so I didn't do this one. It's now downloading updates and it's on 83%. Uh, it says it will say update status. You'll see like a, a colored bar goes across. Yeah, so it's it's finished okay. downloading. And on mine, it says update status, preparing to install. That will take, that actually takes a little while. I don't know what, I think it unpacks the. 